Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. We're over on the test server and we are looking at the dimensional uh, heroes that you can borrow. So short term, this is going to be the normal heroes that you go ahead and borrow. But now we have Garrison Heroes. So this is going to be the brand new Lilith fix for the dimensional heroes that you can no longer get. So I have Ainz. I cannot borrow him because I own him. But essentially, I don't have Elbeto or Ezio. I don't have Nakaru or Yukio. And it's kind of weird because Arthur is not in here, even though I don't have Arthur either. Um, but it looks like he is not in here to be Garrison. So looking here, players can send mercenary hiring requests to their friends or their guildmates. So not only the friends list, you can send them to guildies as well, which is very, very cool. If they approve their request, the corresponding heroes may be hired out to the requesting player. So similar that we've seen from using the mercenaries is you're going to pick up the hero that you're looking for. Players can loan out one mercenary at a time to a maximum of five friends. So that is very, very cool. So essentially, if I have Ainz and you're looking to get Ainz, I can lend the mercenary out to five friends with each loan period lasting 30 days. Players can reapply to hire a hero when there are 30 or fewer days remaining. Not too bad, so they can reapply. So essentially, if I have five friends, I can give them the hero for 30 days, they can reapply, I can approve them, and then they can essentially have the hero themselves to use. An expense of 100 dimensional stones are required each time a player wants to hire a hero. After a particular hire, hero is hired six times, they will no longer require dimensional stones. So 100 dimensional stones each time, meaning you need 600 dimensional stones to have that hero essentially yours to borrow or yours to have. Um, it's not going to require it any longer. Dimensional stones can be exchanged at the top right of the page. A maximum of 200 dimensional stones can be exchanged per calendar month. Players can simultaneously send up to five hiring applicants to their friends or guildmates per specific hero. So not too bad, you can lend them out five times. All hired heroes are level one and have an ascended tier of elite. Hired heroes would need to be leveled up or soul fused once the loan period has ended. The degree of the progression reached with the hired hero will not be affected. However, they will not be able to be used in the battle until the player hires them again. That has a lot of pros and cons. So essentially, if you hire a hero, they're going to be level one. Um, I wonder if we go ahead and fuse them, it's going to be whatever my players are at, which is very, very cool. Um, if you're building a hero from another player and that other player quits, so essentially you can't borrow him anymore. Not sure exactly how that's going to look. Um, well on loan, the garrison mercenaries are viewed as a player's own hero and suffer no limitations when used in battle. Players cannot hire heroes from the friends that have not been online in the past seven days. That's going to be another very interesting point because essentially if you borrow a hero for 30 days, uh, you should have them for 30 days, but then again, if the player quits, you're not going to be able to have the hero and you can't hire from anyone who's been offline for seven days. Each time a player loans out a hero, they shall receive 40 companion points. A maximum of 200 companion points can be attained per month by loaning out heroes. So that's very cool. An extra 200, that is two full summons per month. The companion point maximum is reset with the start of each new calendar month. So not too bad overall. So managing, we don't have any friends yet. I'm um, exchanging. So here we go. Oh, they're burning our resources for the dimensional stones. That, that's not too bad, but it looks relatively expensive to go ahead and get the dimensional stones to borrow a hero. Um, seems like it's gonna be a, an expensive way to borrow the hero, because essentially if, if we need 100 to borrow them, yeah, that, that's gonna be a lot of resources that you're gonna burn through to, to, to get this hero every single month. Wow, that that is that to me that is going to be very very expensive. Um, I think we just broke it. That, that again, that that seems like it's going to be very very expensive. Like that is going to eat up a ton of resources. After six times, you don't have to hire them anymore. But that is a ton of resources to 
to build them. They, they need to lower those the resource cost um, because essentially you're you're going to burn a ton of resources in here if you're building out these heroes. So even here to what I have maxed, I only get 85 of my shards, but that's 68,000 of my lab tokens. That, that seems really expensive. And right now, um, we can't apply to anyone, unfortunately. None of them are on loan, which is okay. So you'll actually be able to pick up... I wonder if you can pick up more than one. So essentially right here, so if I'm exchanging dimensional stones, if I'm exchanging two a month, so if I get 200 stones, can I borrow two heroes? Wonder if I have enough to do that. I'm just curious. And again, this is over on the test server. Um, so I want to see essentially if I don't, I might not have enough for 200. Well, actually I might. Let's go ahead with the challenger tokens are a little bit easier to get than my lab coins. Lab coins I still want for Arthur. Monthly exchange limit. So let's exchange. Boom. So there's our 200 stones. So we're looking for Ezio. We'll go ahead and apply here. There we go. We're looking for. Not too bad. So we got Albedo and we got Ezio. So essentially, if I get both of those heroes, so if they go ahead and put those on loan, um, the heroes will go into my essential pool of heroes. So I'll actually get them here. I can level up. I can fuse them just as I need to. Um, I believe with the signature items and everything else, you're going to have to build as well for the garrison heroes. So I, I was hoping someone would be on there. I wonder if I revoke it. Um, please wait while your application is dealt with. I want to see if someone, I wonder if, I'm just wondering if anyone is online that has some of these, um, Robin Sahir Sultrana. I'm trying to find someone who has one of these heroes. Oh, Sultrana, she's online. I want to see maybe if they can uh, they can garrison me a hero. So I can actually see what it looks like. Because essentially what, what I guess they're saying is when we get the hero garrisoned, um, they're going to show up here, which is very, very cool. Looks like here Iceman has a emblem. I think that's also one of one of the new new features that are here um when you go into the twisted realm when, when you're you get those little uh, badges then of course the other thing that we have is the store guys definitely changed up the challenger store a little so essentially the the priority was always aziz and then i went for flora flora was always my second choice um in this one essentially aziz is going to be the first choice um i would actually do zolrath next because we have Cecilia, Cecilia is just kind of a cheaper version of Athelia. So ultimately, I wouldn't take her, but I would go ahead and build Aziz first. I would go for Zolrath second. Then I would probably do either, probably Flora or Orthos. Um, either or, um, Orthos is going to be very, very expensive at 250k, where you could build Flora a lot cheaper at 150k. But ultimately, a lot of players should have copies of Flora already, so she might not be very difficult to build out, but Aziz would be my priority. Zolrath would be my second priority, and I was hoping again to get a garrison hero. Unfortunately, it looks like everyone is busy at the moment, but I wanted to see who we had to build up to ultimately get them built. So once they are in our shop, um, it sounds like we're gonna have to build them up. Once we borrow them six times, it's not going to cost any more resources, which I'm hoping is per hero. I would assume it is per hero. So essentially, if I borrow Ezio from different players every single month, so let's say I come in here and so, so Tria already has Ezio loaned out five times. Um, if I borrow somebody else, it's just going to be borrowing the hero themselves. And then essentially, once I do that six times, I am going to have the hero that is going to be on loan, which I think... Maybe I just got a hero? Or the test server's crashing. Oh, there he is. We got him. So she borrowed me for 29 days. Very, very cool. 
So we get to see what it was. I, I thought the crushed test server was, uh, was crashed in there, but it looks like maybe, maybe it's going down. I, I guess this new addition is, is causing a lot of problems. A lot of people, even from the live stream, said that th this was kind of um, this was kind of crashing quite a bit. I wonder if we can just go ahead and close this one out. Let's close it out in blue stacks. We'll actually try to pick it right back up. Let's see if we got to reload it here. Because I want to check them out. I want to see if you do have to build them. That that is what I wanted to see here so he should be in my bag now which there he is guys so we can soul fuse him let's go ahead and just fuse him here so he's just like you have him which is very very cool so you know what let's just go with pharrell because pharrell is five stars we'll go ahead and fuse him which is the same as our normal so that gives me a five star SEO for a month so essentially at this point I'll build I have to build them up myself, which I do. So we'll build them up itself. Same with furniture, is you're not gonna get him built. So that's kind of a bad point. I wonder if we can drop him in there. So essentially you're you're getting the hero for a limited time, but you have to build him up yourself. That, that's not too bad. I, I know it does cost quite a few resources, but essentially, um, essentially that, that's pretty cool because I have 30 days of SEO um, that I can use. So essentially, we'll just hop on here really quick. Since we have SEO now, I can build them up with a piece of furniture, which is good. We'll go ahead and throw it on him. So essentially, I could just build my own hero. For 30 days and then after 30 days so as long as you've got someone to borrow him from you can have the heroes and you can have multiple heroes so once i borrow ezio six times um he's no longer going to cost those shards so essentially you're going to be buying the hero yourself artificially through someone else so it's very very cool definitely changed my mind um that that's very cool so essentially players that would never have the ability to use ezio or just be able to merc them I have this hero for 30 days. I can build him up just as much as I want. Um, use him, I'm assuming, as many times as I want because technically he is my hero, which is a absolutely phenomenal advantage that they added. That, that is so, so cool. So I, I could just build him up. I can use him. I can gear him out. I can have everything all set. Only thing I have to make sure is essentially every 30 days um, that I have someone that will loan him to me it is really the big thing. You applied for too many mercenaries, but don't have enough dimensional stones. I wonder if I go here too. So let's revoke this one. That'll give us our stones back. Let's go with Ezio. Remember less than 30 days, we can, yeah, we can go ahead and just do it again. So that'll give us, I think, another 30 days. Instead of anything under 30 days, you can reapply for an additional. I think that'll take us to 59 days because we reapplied the second time, which is awesome. Hired heroes need to be leveled up, but their progression will never be lost. So over time, I mean, if I'm buying essentially more shards out of here, um, every single month, over time, you're going to have the dimensional heroes, which is awesome. That is very, very cool, especially free-to-play players. If you miss Yukio Nakaruru, um, if you only got Ainz, not Albedo, you can garrison the hero and you can build them yourself. So that is very, very cool, guys. So let me know in the comments what you think. I think this is an absolute amazing addition. So instead of spending all your resources up front like we did for Nakaruru, um, for Ainz, for Ezio, or if you didn't buy them, you'll still have access to the heroes for a 30-day period. After you do it six times, it's going to be permanent. You do have to build them yourself, which th that's okay because you get to use them as many times as you want. So very, very cool addition. Lilith definitely changed my mind with how they did it. It is very, very cool, guys. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.